Well, good morning all, Rich here. It's my weekend workshop. I've got an awful lot going on this weekend, a lot of mods to do, a couple of repairs to do, but I'll talk you through them. First of all, the Armour Granite 4x4. I ran it on 4S the other day. They, the stock tires that are at the back there were on a knife edge because they were ballooning so badly. So, I bought these new 1.8 scale buggy tires, which have been modifying. I've got another video coming up as the mod that I've done on those very shortly, if it's not up already. Now, in order to fit those, which take a seven millimeter hex, need to fit some adapters to these. But the armor hexes are, are 14 mil hexes, not 12 mil hexes on here. However, I bought these off of uh, Amazon, which are an adapter, which doesn't matter what the hex size is because you're removing that one uh, completely to fit these. However, these are designed for a five mil shaft. The armor one is six mil shaft, so it's these are too big to go on there. So I've got to get a drill and very t and drill the center of that shaft out. Now, in order to do that, I had to go and buy myself a new pillar drill. So I've got to assemble that later because the first one I tried of drilling these through was just a bit of a non-starter trying to get it straight enough to go through there. So that's my first job of the morning, if you like. And my next job is to put the Revo back together. Uh, the drive shaft that's popped out, comically, it is popped out four times on that side. It's the first time it's popped out on this side. But when I took the wheel off, the wheel was very loose on it. So whether that has something to do with it, I'm not quite sure. So we must remember to check the wheels for tightness. And it's pulled a rod end out, but it just looks like that's pulled out rather than snaps the uh, plastic. So I'll be getting on with that very shortly. As I want to go out and meet up with it and my friend Michael this morning to go out for a bash. Okay, well that's a fairly quick fix to uh, pop the drive shaft back in there. Uh, what you do have to do is see this little hole here. This is where the pillow ball screws in and what's happened is the pillow ball's worked its way loose, which is the reason why the drive shaft popped out in the first place. So you have to undo that completely. But you have to use this little plastic tool to remove this little plastic piece to know it enable you to get to the screw uh, that's in the, the pillow ball. But it should be fairly straightforward to repair. Just gotta take the uh, little ball end off of there and screw that back on. Okay, well, everything back in place there. I was able to put the tire rod on nice and easily and um, get the drive shaft back in. The nice thing being about the Traxxas Z Revo 2.0, well, it does drop the, the rear drive shafts every now and again, is that as they're always connected at the wheel end, you never lose the drive shaft. It just drops down and uh, ruins your day, although. I think to check the wheels, that not just this one was loose, but every other wheel was substantially loose. But I did have a heck of a bashing session uh, this week with the thing. The video may or may not be up by now. If you watch that, you'll understand why the wheels came loose. But uh, they were certainly a lot looser than I thought. So I'm gonna check those each time I go out. And next up is the Traxxas Fortec 2.0. I've had a minor problem the other day. And that minor problem is this. But when you squeeze the throttle, it goes in reverse. So for whatever reason, the car has managed, well, now, the other day when I tried it, the throttle was reversed, if that makes sense. So I reversed it on the transmitter. I turn it on today and it's reversed itself back to normal on there. So I now need to re-reverse the reversing on the transmitter. Oh! Okay, now I've actually shot a separate video on how to reverse the uh, Traxxas throttle servo because the, the one that Traxxas have got online is for the basic function uh, radio without the multifunction dial on here. And you need a completely different way of doing it if you've got the multi if you've got the multifunction dial fitted. You can, if you've got the Bluetooth module fitted, uh, check, reverse the, the throttle using the Bluetooth module. But that's about 40 bucks, so I'm conscious that not everybody is gonna have one of those fitted to their car. And besides which, this is the most bizarre of problems because the car has just changed itself into reverse without me doing anything seemingly. But I've shot a video step by step uh, as to exactly how to reverse the Traxxas throttle server. Well, it's proven a busy time in the workshop. I've just uh, updated the Traxxas link app. I can't actually show you that because it's on the very phone I'm using to shoot this with. Uh, so I've uploaded that because I want to go out uh, for a speed run again with the uh, Fortec 2.0 VXL over the uh, next couple of days. So that's taken about five, 10 minutes waiting for that to do its thing. My new Armour Sentin rear wing to fit to the back of the car, however, this little screw in here is proving particularly troublesome, so I'm gonna have to get the uh, Dremel and cut that off the underside as it's completely rusted up. And I've got a little bit of work to do on the UDR. Went out to test the uh, Avonic battery, so Steve Reddy said, see how fast the UDR is with them in, Rich, see if you get an increase in speed. So I put them in, went in on my test track, and I got precisely six inches before the pinion let loose on a thing. So I've got to take the whole thing apart and that gets to the pinion gear. Now these things are sent to testers. Just uh, working on the UDR here, turn the wheels, and 
pinion turns, I'm thinking it was baffling me because the noise was definitely the pinion just freely spinning. And then I noticed the motor just moved just slightly. And if you look at that, on the side, the motor mount screws have vibrated loose. I've been very lucky, fingers crossed he says, in not losing any teeth or getting too much damage to the steel cut gears here. Very lucky, escape there, Rich. So definitely time to put these tiny knees up and put some thread lock on them. Well, this is dedication to our sea for you. This is my new pillar drill uh, that I've uh, bought from uh, Harbour Freight in order to drill these hex adapters out on the inside. A bargain, $51 using a coupon. On the armor granite, on the speed run front, I've uh, drilled out all of the uh, hex adapters on there, so I'm fitting my uh, newly non-ballooning uh, one-eight scale buggy tires to the armor granite, and uh, hopefully get speed running that by the weekend. In the meantime, I've been at Crawling today with Chris from uh, Highway One, and I've took the Traxxas TRX floors, taken a mega tumble, and if you look in here, the steering linkage is touching the back of the motor, so it's been knocked completely round uh, when it's done. So I've now got to. Uh, Take that out and see if I can uh, salvage this servo or not, as the case may be. Well, this servo is completely shot on here, so I'm going to replace it with one of the 20 kilo ones that I've got, uh, which I'll actually fit as a replacement, the 20 kilo one, to the Armour Granite here, but it doesn't really need that kind of servo, so I've got a spare Traxxas one, so I'm going to put the Traxxas one in here, the 20 kilo one, in uh, the uh, Traxxas TRX4 here, which should give that about four times the uh, turning power I had before, because it really struggled uh, on the uh, crawling. I wonder, it really struggled when I was out with Chris from Highway One today uh, on the steering. So definitely need for improvement. Also, these tyres just uh, slightly fell in on since I so we're going to get the Dremel tomorrow and uh, cut that off there. Okay, well on the armor granite, I've taken the 20 kilo servo out, which I'm going to put in the TRX4. At the same time, I took the uh, time just to put a little bit of uh, crazy glue uh, on this power on/off switch for the castle, and I've stuck that to the top of the uh, servo, so I can reach that easily from the outside without having to hunt around it. Let's have the wire clear of the shaft. Install this, it's fine now. Which one of those wires goes into where and remove that broken servo? Anyway, tip of the day when uh, doing any kind of work on a car that's got as many wires crammed in the receiver box as the Traxxas TRX4 has, is plug the servo in, plug the power in, and then by all means make sure the thing works before you put all the cover back on. Okay, well at the end of this workshop session, everything's coming nicely together. My new 20 kilo waterproof metal geared servo back on the uh, TRX4 there. All four wheels uh, and one eighth wheels near mounted on the uh, um, granite four by four. So ready to go and get the uh, speed run done as soon as I fit the new shortened springs on the uh, front. So all being well, that should be running on 4S and then 6S later this week. I'm thinking probably 60 or thereabouts on 4S on 6S. Goodness only knows, Richie boy. Anyway, if you like this stuff as ever and you want to see uh, these cars running later this week, then don't forget to subscribe. All comments and questions welcome. Thanks guys. We hope you liked this video. If you did, please click on the circle image to subscribe. And if you hit subscribe, then don't forget to hit that little notifications bell next to